Hello everyone, Super Fin Guy here. This is going to be just a quick video to show that it is possible uh, to track motion just using an accelerometer uh, without an external reference frame. This is a response to a Kralis video where he says that it's impossible to do just that. Uh, you know, a few days ago I made some comments on the subject of acceleration uh, and Dad reminded me uh, to write this little Python script. Um, as you see here, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller to simulate acceleration uh, readings that you'd get from the Oculus Rift, you know, by using the analog sticks, since I don't have an Oculus Rift right now. So uh, here we have the x-axis and the y-axis. Up here the acceleration readings, here the velocity, and here the positions. Now, down here we have just the frames per second, the number of frames being calculated, and the running time. As we can see the program is running and we have no drift at all. So let's move the axis around a little bit. As we can see they can be returned to their original positions. As I move around, notice the acceleration readings. They are between minus 1 and 1. So the maximum acceleration here is 1 pixel per 0 0.03 of a second, since the program is running at about 30 frames per second. Um, I'm capturing the acceleration readings at the same rate as I calculate the position and the velocity gain at each acceleration. Notice how realistic the movement is as we have acceleration and decelerations and if I get uh, if I let go of the stick the motion just continues at a constant velocity as naturally because there's no friction you know as because there's no air friction so if I'm precise enough with my thumb I can try and stop the motion which is hard you know because uh, analog sticks are not that accurate Again, there is no drift, and there shouldn't be. So, by doing this, I'm reading the acceleration from the analog sticks at about 30 frames per second, and each reading is a variable in each frame. And as we can see, it is quick enough to capture the movement of my thumb. Now, with a real accelerometer, the reading could be even more accurate, and capture each acceleration at an even higher rate with very low noise. The noise on these analog sticks, by the way, is atrocious. I had to round up the readings to just one decimal place of accuracy. After that, with the sticks at their zero positions, it is just noise or false readings. But such an accuracy is sort of enough for 30 frames per second. The only way there could be a mismatch between the motion and the analog sticks is if uh, there is a frame lag, of course. So mathematically, I'm using a first degree equation to get velocity and position, not using a second degree equation here. Uh, as we can see, I'm just adding the displacement and velocity gain at each frame or time, which increases like the squares of the times. Well, I hope the video was insightful and thanks for watching.